There are around 260,000 cases of chlamydia in the UK each year. Young people under the age of 26 and men who are sex with men are at the highest risk. Chlamydia and its complications such as pelvic inflammatory disease, infertility and ectopic pregnancy cost the NHS over £250 million each year. Lustrum is an NIHR funded five year programme which aims to improve the sexual health of heterosexual people and MSM by preventing the transmission of STIs and reducing undiagnosed HIV. The Lustrum team includes sexual health clinicians, clinical academics, health psychologists, health economists and mathematical modellers from universities and hospital trusts across the UK and Switzerland. Partner notification is a key tool in controlling STIs, but it can be difficult to reach all exposed sex partners. In earlier studies, the Lustrum team developed a new form of partner notification called Accelerated Partner Therapy, or APT, which makes it quicker and easier for sex partners to be tested and treated. Preliminary outcomes were very encouraging in terms of the time it took for sex partners to be treated and the proportion of sex partners treated overall. A randomised trial of APT with full economic analysis is now required. At the moment, when a person is diagnosed with chlamydia, they are given antibiotics and are asked to tell their recent sex partner or partners to come into the clinic for testing and treatment. What's new with APT is that the health professional asks the person with chlamydia if they would like to give their sex partner or partners a quick call then and there to tell them about the infection. This provides an assessment of the sex partner so that medication can be provided in accordance with GMC prescribing guidance. They can also ask the sex partner if he or she would be willing to speak to the health professional to arrange testing and treatment. If the sex partner says yes, the patient leaves the room. The health professional can then do a private telephone consultation with the sex partner and choose if they would like an APT test and treatment pack sent in the post or brought to them in person by the patient. When the sex partner receives the APT pack, they follow the instructions to provide self-samples of chlamydia, gonorrhea, syphilis and HIV. Then they take the antibiotics in the pack and post the completed test kit back to the clinic. The clinic will contact them when the results are back. That's it. Done. The sex partner has spoken to a healthcare professional, been tested and received treatment, all without having to go to a clinic. We are conducting a cluster crossover RCT. The intervention is routine PN plus the offer of APT and the control arm is just routine PN. There will be service level consent. We will compare the outcomes and experiences of people who accept the offer of APT and those who do not. Our primary outcome is the proportion of index patients who test positive for chlamydia 12 to 16 weeks after treatment. We will also determine the proportion of sex partners treated overall, conduct a cost effectiveness analysis and look at time to treatment. We are also interested in outcomes by a partnership type using a new classification of sexual partnerships which we developed during an extensive pre-trial phase. Our process evaluation will consider different perspectives of APT from an index patient, sex partner and healthcare professional perspective. The trial starts with a one-month baseline stable data collection phase. Half the clinics are then randomised to the intervention phase for four months, half are in control phase. There's a two-month washout period, then clinics cross over to the opposite four-month phase for the remainder of the trial. We hope that APT will result in a smaller proportion of index patients testing positive for chlamydia at three months, a higher proportion of sex partners treated overall and a faster time to treatment.